Hello, hello. Today I'm going to be going over the top 10 logic mistakes I made as a new player. Let me know in the comments if you made similar mistakes or if you made completely different mistakes. Enjoy the video. First mistake I ever made was caring about people that I ran over. Oh my gosh, 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 I'm so sorry, oh my gosh. I can't believe I just ran you over. Okay, I'm at least going to commend you. I'm so sorry for running you over. That was my bad. Oh my gosh. What have I done? This is how I act now. Twice in a row? Why do you let me do it twice in a row? What? Get out of the middle of the street! Second mistake I made was not knowing how to change fuel types. Oh yes, finally a truck. Oh what? Out of fuel? Oh this truck needs petrol? Are there any bases near with petrol? All I have is diesel on me. Oh, there's a petrol can clear over here. I can go run and grab that and fuel up this truck. Perfect. All right, we got the petrol can. Time to run back to the truck. If only they made it easier to switch a car from petrol to diesel. Gosh. So you can change fuel right here with this button. I didn't know until probably hour 200 or so into the game that you could do this. And I constantly went to bunkers finding for, to find petrol to, to fill a truck sometimes. But you can change the fuel. Third mistake I made was building a brand new truck every single time I logged in. All right, I got my brand new truck, but wait a second. There's already a truck in the parking lot here, and there's another truck over here. I didn't have to waste my time building that truck when I could have easily just used these two trucks. And that person just dropped off another truck. And there's trucks in the seaport that I could have used as well. I should never build another truck again. Unless I want to reserve it for my own personal stockpile, then that makes sense. Fourth mistake I made was parking incorrectly at seaports. What the fuck is this? Oh. I'm sorry, that's my flatbed. Bruh. Oh, I'll, get, I'll move it here in a second, sorry. Bruh. Should have just stayed Kali. I was never a Kali. I'm kidding. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. I'll move it right now. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry. Hello. Uh, can you move your Logi truck, please? Tabaki? Mayhor? Can you move that back, please? Thank you. Oh, I didn't to go this right here is how a seaport should look. This is how all the Logi trucks should be parked. You should be able to fit three of them in. A flatbed should be able to come on the side there. And this is what a perfect seaport looks like. Bonus content, this is what a perfect factory looks like. Fifth mistake I made was taking supplies from other bunkers to forward bunkers. So when I first started playing Foxhole, I thought that Logi was essentially moving materials from other bunker bases to the most forward bunker base. 
So whenever I saw that materials were getting low, like shirts or bee mats or guns or anything like that, I would just look at a base that was just a little bit behind it. And I would get in my Logi truck here and I would simply just go to these back bases and pile up like 150 shirts. I would put individual rifles in these slots and even ammo. And I thought that was logistics and I thought that's how you did it. I didn't know anything about crating. I didn't know anything about getting crates from like storage depots or seaports. I just thought you had to go to these bunker bases and just move the supplies up here. Um, I did this probably almost for the first like 50 hours of Logi or something even just way too long before I figured out that you needed to get crates from storage depots or sea seaports. Um, so I think this is probably a common mistake that most Logi players make in the beginning is they just steal stuff from, again, near bunker bases. And then the people that own those bunker bases are like, where'd all my stuff go? And it's probably from these new players. This is probably one of the biggest mistakes I made when I first started playing this game. And I will tell you, don't do this. Don't go to individual bunkers and steal all their supplies and then move it to a forward bunker. You're just making these bunker bases weaker. So if this one goes down, it'll be like a domino effect and they'll all fall. So make sure you're getting your supplies from seaports and storage depots. The sixth mistake I made was bringing a flatbed to a forward bunker thinking I could drop the supplies off. All right, we've made it to the bunker and they even have a crane waiting for me here. This is gonna be awesome. I've spent the last hour filling up this crate and driving it here. These guys are gonna be so happy to get these supplies. Alright, where to put it? I think I gotta put it right next to the bunker here. Should be pretty easy to transfer the crates over. Alright, I'm just gonna unpackage it here and then move the crates into the bunker. But I'm not really getting an option here to do that. What the? This can't be right. The seventh mistake I made was dumping all my default items into seaports, storage depots, factories, refineries, anything along those lines. You all need to stop doing this. The eighth mistake I made was doing all the Logi steps at once. I think when a player first starts out, doing the initial loop is very important, going from the salvage field to the refinery to crafting items, but only that first or second time. Gathering salvage can be very time consuming, so thinking that you have enough time to gather the salvage, turn it into bee mats, then go make the items at factories, and then get those items to a front forward bunker, that again is not the ideal way to go about this loop. What you should be doing instead is choosing one of those three tasks to do for the night. You can either gather salvage for the night and build up your bee mats for the next day. You can use the bee mats to craft a lot of items and put it either in your private storage or the regiment storage. Or the third option is you can do deliveries for the night where you go to your private storage or your regiment storage and deliver those items out to the front bunkers. Very rarely, again, are you going to do all three in one play session unless you're playing for like eight or nine hours a day. The ninth mistake I made is I didn't watch for enemies or partisans on the road. Ah. Did you just lose your truck? Yeah. <laughs> Well, at least you didn't craft all those materials in the back line and drive all the way there and then get partisan. <laughs> that it would have been more sad for sure. Honestly, you could just you could if you wanted to try again, you could literally go to the baths and do the same thing. Pull another truck, pull the materials because they're all still there. You could try and sneak in again if you want. But look, you got to get a radio and you got to watch for the green circles. Well, it, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The green circles are bad guys? Yeah, those are the bad guys. The blue circles are oh, the good Jesus guys. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, damn it. I didn't Found explain the problem. that. The tenth mistake I made was locking my vehicle before logging off. Locked. Locked. 
Locked. Oh, locked. Oh, and locked. Perfect. All of these vehicles are locked. Good thing I have my handy dandy wrench. Don't go anywhere without it. Now time to unlock all of these vehicles. If y'all are gonna put vehicles in a parking lot, you need to make sure it's unlocked, all right? Otherwise, we need to get rid of parking lots. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section down below what some of your lodging mistakes were when you first started out. Feel free to join our Discord community below in the description. Make sure to subscribe for more Foxhole content. Stay safe out there, and cheers.